Hey everyone, welcome back to another Razor Training video. I know that I have not made any videos recently, but now I'm back. And I have acquired Visual Studio 2010. Let's go take a look at it. Ah, oh, there she is. Look how handsome it is. Yep, got her back in like June, I think. Well, let's get on to the video. This is video 6 in the series. And today we're going to do two projects. Two small little projects that I want you guys to do. Well, you don't really have to do it, but if you do it, it'll help you understand VB.net a little bit more and refresh your mind about everything. What I've made here is a little application to convert inches to centimeters and centimeter to inches. Now I've taught you in the past few videos how to set up a program like this, and I think you guys are ready to do something like this. Because the best way I learn is by doing projects and stuff, by implementing stuff I already know, and then using it on a different program to for something actually useful, which this is actually useful. You can use this to like convert your height to centimeters as other countries use centimeters not inches I think only Americans use inches but yeah and I also have another program that I want you guys to make it's a Celsius to Fahrenheit converter and vice versa there, let me find it and there she is Okay, here's my Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius, a little calculator. Now, you can make all these programs by uh, just doing the stuff that I've mentioned in other videos and stuff. If you don't remember what I've mentioned, just go ahead and go on my channel or wherever, I don't know. And uh, just look at my other videos and I'll teach you mainly how to make these and stuff. By well, these are really actually kind of, kind of simple. I only use like two lines of code for this one and like two lines for the other one. They're really simple to make. All you're using is math, and really all you're doing is put two labels down, a numeric up, down, a text box, and two buttons, and just put the code in two of these buttons, and you're set. I ain't gonna show you the code yet, because I want you to do this first. But, I do have the code already working, and this program does work. Let's see? Okay, like. For instance, 32 degrees Fahrenheit would be 0 degrees Celsius. Yep, there it is. And 0 degrees Celsius would be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And I am right. And notice that you can't type on this. I'm typing as much as I can right now, and it ain't going into it because it's a read only. You probably want to do that too so people won't input dumb text right here, even though they ain't supposed to. Because this is the answer box. But yeah, just go ahead and uh, just make a form just like mine and everything. Put two buttons on there, text box, and a numeric up down, and then put two labels, temperature and converted temperature. And uh, like what happens is you just, just let the user select what temperature they have, and then you can let them convert to Celsius, or Celsius to Fahrenheit, and then they want to do Fahrenheit to Celsius, which, well, that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, 9 degrees is pretty cool. Like 100 degrees, I think it's like, maybe not, oh, 212, that maybe that was the number I was looking for. But yeah, just do that for that one, and uh, let me get back to the other one real quick. What was the other one? Oh yeah, inch to centimeter converter. Yeah, it's basically the same layout as the Fahrenheit Celsius one. Just uh, two buttons, text box, ooh, I forgot to make it read only. See, if you make, don't make it read only, then it'll be like, yeah, inches and centimeters. That's cool. Yeah, look, look at that. It's even got letters in it. Son of a gun. But yeah, just go ahead and make that box read only so people can't input crap into it and lie to you and everything. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like people saying that three centimeters is 2.A, B, C. I don't know. I'm retarded. But yeah, just go ahead and make these two applications and uh, see if you can do it. And if you can't, well, I don't know. Just go watch my two videos and you should be able to do it. 
I mean, it's fairly simple. I got two lines of code for like each one of these programs. I only put like one code, one line of code for each one of these boxes, or button, not boxes, but buttons, just to run that code and I'll put the little answer right there. All right, in the next video, I will have all the answers and stuff that, and the code that I used to make these. All right, then that's the end of the video. Good luck making that project. I shall see you all later. Oh yeah, well, I forgot to mention. Here is the Fahrenheit to Celsius formula, and here's the Celsius to Fahrenheit formula. Just go ahead and pause the video if you need to look at that. And here is a centim er, the inches formula, and here's a centimeter formula when you're converting inches to centimeters. And this is centimeters to inches. Go ahead and pause the video if you need that, or just go to this site right here, manual. Manuelsweb.com, wherever it enters centimeters to HTM, and albirio.ch. Yeah, that's right. Alright, well, uh, good luck on making the program, and I will see you next video and show you how to make it if you can't make it. I don't care if you don't make it or not, I mean, I don't give a crap. Alright, I'll see you next video. Good luck.